Why haven't we found alien civilizations yet? There are more stars in our universe than grains of sand on all Earth's beaches combined. At least 100 billion galaxies, each with 100 billion stars. So where is everybody? In all that cosmic real estate, why haven't we detected a single alien civilization? The complete silence we observe may be the most important clue about our own future survival. Today we're exploring how this cosmic silence might reveal either humanity's extraordinary rarity, our impending extinction, or something even stranger about reality itself. Since the dawn of consciousness, humans have gazed at the night sky wondering if we're alone. This question has shifted from mythology to scientific inquiry as our understanding of the universe expanded. In 1950, physicist Enrico Fermi looked up during lunch with colleagues and asked a deceptively simple question, where is everybody? This became known as the Fermi paradox, the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial civilizations existing and our complete lack of evidence for them. The mathematics is compelling, our galaxy alone contains between 100 to 400 billion stars. Recent discoveries suggest that most stars host planetary systems with a significant percentage containing Earth-like worlds in habitable zones where liquid water can exist. Even if the odds of life emerging are astronomically small, say one in a billion, our galaxy should still host hundreds of technological civilizations. Yet decades of searching have yielded nothing but silence. To understand this paradox, we need to break down the components. The Drake Equation, formulated in 1961, estimates the number of detectable civilizations by multiplying factors including star formation rates, planets per star system, the fraction developing life, the portion evolving intelligence, the percentage creating technology, and civilization longevity. Recent exoplanet discoveries have dramatically increased our estimates for habitable worlds making the silence even more perplexing. Imagine journeying through our galaxy, visiting countless solar systems with Earth-like planets. Based on our understanding of physics and biology, we should encounter civilizations at various stages, some just discovering radio, others building megastructures around their stars, and perhaps a few spreading between star systems. Instead, we see only natural processes, empty planets, uninhabited star systems, and no artificial signals cutting through the cosmic background. This profound discrepancy demands explanation. The solutions to this paradox fall into three unsettling categories. First, life itself might be extraordinarily rare. Perhaps biological complexity requires such a precise sequence of unlikely events that Earth represents an almost miraculous exception. The emergence of multicellular life took billions of years on Earth suggesting potential bottlenecks in evolutionary pathways. Intelligence capable of creating technology might be even rarer, possibly requiring specific environmental conditions that balance stability with sufficient evolutionary pressure. The second category, far more troubling, suggests that technological civilizations invariably destroy themselves shortly after developing advanced technology. This concept, known as the Great Filter, proposes that some developmental stage acts as a nearly universal barrier preventing long-term survival. If this filter lies in our past, like the emergence of complex cells or intelligence, we've already navigated the dangerous waters. But if it lies ahead, humanity may be approaching the same self-destruction point that eliminated other civilizations. What might this future filter be? Nuclear weapons, artificial intelligence, biotechnology, nanotechnology, and environmental collapse all represent existential risks that any technological civilization might face. Perhaps advanced technology inevitably leads to the creation of weapons or systems that civilizations cannot control. This interpretation of the silence carries an urgent warning. The absence of detectable aliens might indicate that technological growth has intrinsic limitations or dangers we're approaching right now. The third category of explanations suggests advanced civilizations exist but remain undetectable by choice or nature. The zoo hypothesis proposes that aliens deliberately avoid contact with developing species like ours, maintaining a cosmic wildlife preserve or observational experiment. Perhaps there's a galactic protocol preventing interference with emerging civilizations, a kind of prime directive familiar from science fiction. Alternatively, 
Truly advanced intelligence might evolve beyond biological forms into states we cannot comprehend or detect using our primitive tools. Consider how our understanding of consciousness, civilization, and progress might appear to beings millions of years more advanced. Would they even recognize our radio transmissions as intelligent communication? Or would they seem as rudimentary as bacterial chemical signals seem to us? Advanced civilizations might operate using physics principles we haven't discovered, communicating through quantum entanglement or cosmic strings rather than electromagnetic waves. What we're searching for might be equivalent to ancient Romans looking for digital satellite transmissions. Even more unsettling is the possibility that we're looking at the wrong scale. Perhaps the truly advanced state for intelligence isn't expansion across stars, but compression into microscopic dimensions. The energy and computational efficiency improves dramatically at smaller scales, potentially driving evolution toward the very small rather than the very large. The dominant civilizations might exist in the quantum realm, running vast simulations in microscopic spaces while remaining invisible to macro-scale observers like ourselves. This brings us to the mind-bending possibility that directly addresses cosmic silence, the simulation hypothesis. If creating simulated universes becomes possible for advanced civilizations, the number of simulated realities would vastly outnumber the single base reality. In a simulation designed to study emerging intelligence, the programmers would naturally economize computational resources by creating few or no other advanced civilizations. The silence we observe aligns perfectly with what we would expect in a simulated universe focused on Earth's development. The implications of our cosmic solitude are profound, regardless of which explanation proves correct. If we're among the first intelligent species, we carry an enormous responsibility for life's future in this galaxy. Our decisions about existential risks might be determining whether intelligence becomes common in the cosmos or remains vanishingly rare. This perspective reframes our current technological challenges, climate change, nuclear weapons, artificial intelligence, as potential universal filters that test all technological species. If intelligence is indeed rare, each human consciousness represents an extraordinarily improbable cosmic development, the universe becoming aware of itself. This doesn't make our existence miraculous in a supernatural sense, but statistically remarkable in a natural one. Conversely, if the great filter awaits in our future, our survival requires developing wisdom that matches our technological capabilities. We might need unprecedented foresight and cooperation to navigate challenges that have potentially eliminated countless civilizations before us. Perhaps the most transformative insight from pondering cosmic silence is the profound uncertainty it reveals at the heart of our existence. We stand at a unique moment, advanced enough to question our place in the universe, but not advanced enough to answer with certainty. This uncertainty should inspire humility and careful consideration of humanity's long-term future. If we might be among the first, or tragically, among the last, intelligent civilizations, our choices carry cosmic significance. The Fermi Paradox ultimately connects the search for extraterrestrial intelligence to the search for meaning in human existence. As we scan the silent stars, we're really asking, are we alone? Are we first? Are we rare? Are we in danger? The silence forces us to confront these questions without the comfort of easy answers. Whether we're cosmic pioneers with the universe as our inheritance, simulation inhabitants in an artificial reality, or a species approaching the same filter that has silenced countless others. One thing remains certain. We are the only known consciousness witnessing this magnificent cosmos. Until we discover otherwise, the responsibility for carrying forward the light of awareness rests solely with us. In the silent darkness between stars lies not just a scientific puzzle, but humanity's greatest challenge and opportunity.